Hello and thank you once again for checking out this channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Eric Powell book. Did you hear what Ed Gein done? But first, there is always a little bit of housekeeping that needs to be done. Do me a favor, hit that little bell icon down below and the subscribe icon down below. If you do that, it keeps you up to date with all the stuff that I put out on this channel. Let's dive into it. So did you hear what Eddie Gein done is a historical account of the events of a horrible, horrible monster of a human being, Ed Gein. The story here is written by Eric Powell and Harold Schechter, so it's a double writer duty on this book, with the art being primarily done by Eric Powell. Admittingly, I am not familiar with Mr. Schechter's work, but I am familiar with Eric Powell. Now, if you don't know anything about Ed Gein, that's perfectly normal. Ed Gein was for all intents and purposes, a serial killer in the 1950s. If you've heard of movies such as The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the character Leatherface was heavily, heavily inspired by the accounts of what happened with Ed Gein. Here what we see is something that's super interesting to me in the same way that Todd Phillips leveled up from doing The Hangover and those kind of trashy but fun and hilarious comedies and he moved up and did the Joker, Eric Powell is basically doing the same thing. Powell is known as the guy that draws and writes the Goon series and while the Goon series is absolutely a blast and one of my favorite comic books of all time, the humor in it is a bit childish and a bit gross. Which is why this was such a surprise to me when I read that he was coming out with a book that's focusing on the life of Ed Gein and it's going to be taken super seriously, it's a historical account using only primary sources. So how does the book fare? I enjoyed most of it. I enjoyed most of the book and I think the first half is much stronger than the second half of it. In the first half of the book, we see all of the stuff that would eventually lead to Ed Gein becoming Ed Gein. We see his childhood, the tyrant of a mom that he had, and the situation involving his father who was a heavy alcoholic. There are various moments here that involve religion, that involve sexuality, that involve a young man who was mistreated and abused physically, mentally, emotionally, and the list goes on and on. And I think what's really strong about it is that Powell and Schechter are able to to set up the stage of this is what led to Ed Gein becoming a serial killer. Was Gein born evil? Was Gein a product of his environment? One can say maybe both. They present both subject matters here and it works for the most part. I think for me the issue is the second half of the book. Once Ed Gein becomes a serial killer and he starts doing what he's doing, the second half of the book starts to slow down a little bit because I actually found it more fascinating seeing how he turned into the monster that he actually became. The second half of the book is really where you start getting into where people had experiences with Ed Gein. There are first-hand accounts where people are saying, no, I think Gein was a fantastic person. He did all these nice things in the town. He, how could he eat? cereal out of somebody's skull, something that Ed Gein actually did. And that's really where I think a lot of the horror from this book comes from. Yes, there are moments in here that are truly disturbing and truly gruesome, but it's that mindset of you don't really know what the person next door is thinking about or what they're actually doing because by all accounts, everybody in this town thought Ed Gein was a perfectly normal guy, a little bit dumb, but he was perfectly normal. Well, I did find these conversations to be really interesting and it lends to the mindset of, hey, your neighbor could be somebody who's a little bit crazy and is wearing somebody else's skin. I think it just went on a bit too long. I, I really do. I really would have liked for a lot of this stuff to have been condensed and maybe focused in on a little bit more of the trial because eventually they do capture Ed Gein. And I think had it been refocused and reshifted a little bit, the book would have flowed a little bit better for just me. Again, that is me nitpicking because overall, I think this is a solid, solid read. Buyer beware though, this is dealing with material that is extremely dark. And I think for the most part, Eric Powell does not shy away from some of the more gruesome things that Ed Gein had done. There are several moments in here that kind of made my stomach wince a little bit. There's a scene in particular involving how he flayed the skin of his victims and 
Powell doesn't shy away from it. It's it's pretty gut wrenching. I think Powell is honestly one of the best artists working in the industry today, and it's a damn shame that he doesn't get the credit that he really deserves. I think part of that has to do with the fact that he's been known as the guy that writes the goon, which is a hilarious and fun story, but I think because he's been the guy that's known as the writer of the goon, everybody doesn't take him really that seriously. This is a tough one for me to recommend to a lot of people, simply because I think the subject matter is so dark. Eric Powell and Harold Schechter do not shy away from some of the more darker aspects of what happened and by all accounts, the body count that Ed Gein had, which to this day, nobody knows how many people Ed Gein actually killed. There were numerous bones and there were numerous organs and things that were found throughout the house and people were still digging up things years after the man was caught. However, I do think that if you are somebody who is fascinated in true crime dramas and if you're somebody that liked the Netflix series Mindhunter, which God, I wish we got a season two of that, then I think this is right up your alley. I think you'll really dig this a lot. Now as a hardcover, I think this is a solid presentation all around. I really like the fact that the inside of it is done kind of in that old school wallpaper, like that. And the binding is nice, there really isn't too much in terms of special features. There's a conversation in the back between Eric Powell and Harold Schechter involving the research that had to be done for the book and they discuss all the stuff that they worked on and how difficult it was. And I found that stuff to be really fascinating. Overall, I'm feeling like about an eight on this one. I think it's a wonderful little read. It's gonna probably end up going in my top five for the end of the year. And I'm looking forward to what else comes from this team in the future. Thanks once again, guys, for checking out this video. If you be so kind, there is a link down below to this book. And if you order from that link, I get a cut of the profit from Amazon. It doesn't come out of your pocket, it comes out of Amazon. So helps me out. I love you guys. I'll speak with you soon. Bye.